Hi everyone, Dana Delmer with Clearmark Title here. I'm going to show you in this video how to target market um, out-of-state owners, next sellers, and, ne and empty nesters through Title Toolbox. So that is all free information that you can pull. I'm also gonna show you how you can add on phone numbers and emails if you wish to purchase those. So what we're gonna do is once you log into Title Toolbox, you're going to click on Farming in the upper left corner, and then you're gonna click on Boundary Search. Once we click on boundary search, it gives us this green pin where our cursor is. And um, this is where we can actually click down on the map to uh, select a highlighted area we wanna target. You can always type an address in, in here if you wanna take it, it to take you there on this map, but I'm just going to click down here. We'll focus on Huntington Beach right now. So you're gonna click down on an area and make an enclosed shape. You don't need to drag the cursor, you just click. And you can make as many pins as you want. Um, it just has to make an enclosed shape. So let's say I'm going around this area. On the last one, you double click to end it. And then we're gonna click on next. Once we click on next, it's going to open up into this area search box. And this is where we're going to be able to let the system know what type of properties do we uh, want to target? Um, and also what type of leads are we looking for? So it automatically defaults to single family resident homes and condominiums. Um, let's just say we want to just focus on SFRs. We'd exit condos. I always like to click on get count, this green button in the right hand bottom corner, just to see how many properties we're working with, um, before we filter them down. So 3,528. Okay. So if we click on custom filters, this tab up here, then we're going to see out of state owners, next sellers and empty nesters as an option. So in this video example, um, let's just say we're going to look for next sellers who is most likely to sell. So we will click on yes, and then get count. And let's see how that filtered that down from that 3000 mark. 488 properties. So this is doable, right? Whether you're gonna send them a letter, a postcard, give them a call, any of that. And on that note, if you do wanna call them and you do wanna purchase phone numbers, you can click on this tab right here that says premier data with the star. And that expands into three more tabs and you can click on phone numbers and emails. And this is where you purchase phone numbers and emails. Just click on phone, click on get count, and then it'll have you pay for them. I'm going to exit out of this for example purposes, since we're not buying any phone numbers in this video, uh, we're just going to pull free data. So let's say we want to just pull this information, the next sellers, 488 properties in Huntington, um, and we want to see them. So we're going to download view query or view records. And then this usually takes a moment um, for them to pop up when I'm recording the screen, but it'll be faster for you at home. What's going to happen is that these records of these properties are going to pop up on the screen. And it's also going to show us a visual of uh, where these properties are located on the map. So you just get an idea. Um, and once we have this information on our screen, it's also going to allow us to click on save farm so you can save it for the future and label it. Uh, we can export the information as a CSV file. So it's saved on your computer and you can use it as an Excel file. And um, a lot of marketing companies and Instagram and Facebook require a CSV for you to upload if you're going to do marketing um, through the, any of those streams. Um, okay, so I do see that it did pop up behind here. You can kind of see the records back here. This box is usually going to just pop away for you. Um, if it doesn't, then we can go ahead and we can exit out of this. Whoops. Okay, so here are the records right here. Um, you can scroll to the left, to the right. It's showing us page one. There's a bunch of pages and as you toggle between the pages, it'll highlight a different area on the map of where these properties are located. Um, anyways, what we're gonna do is if you wanna save the farm, you click save farm and name it. So it'll save within your title toolbox for every time you log in. If we wanted to export, you click on export and that's where it's gonna allow us to do a CSV farm. So you can save it on your computer. Um, and that is basically the general gist of how you can pull uh, property information through here. And if you bought phone numbers, it would actually be on the last column. So it'll show here or emails. There'll be an email and phone number column. If you have any questions and if you want any uh, further help, I'd be happy to do a one-on-one -on -one meeting with you or Zoom. Um, and then we can work on this together and create a marketing plan for you. So thank you for watching and have a great day, guys. Bye.